Yeah, my question is for the sisters. Um, blood is thicker than water. Could you ever um, forgive your sister for what she's done? No. I have a question. Um, it's for this young brother right there. How old are you and how old are your lady right there? 22. I'm uh, 21. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Sam, were you sober when you met them two girls? Uh... <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. Love you, love you, show. Uh, to the two girls in the black, uh, are any of you two uh, still going to be with this guy? Who, him? Yeah, Michael. Well, he needs to make a choice. I'll be a woman about it. If he wants to be with her, be a man and tell me. Let me know. I ain't choosing Ain't no choice about all. it. He's going to be with me regardless. Well, I'm a woman before I'm anything, so I ain't tripping. There's I many more the where choice. that came from. I made the choice. Not like me, baby. Do you think that if he doesn't want to be with you, that you're going to take him home with you? Where are you going to take him? Oh, he's coming you, with me. I stay at his aunt's house, and he's coming with me home, OK? No matter what he says on the show, no matter what he says on the show, I know him. I know him a lot better than anybody knows him. I've been with him for three years, and I'm already knowing he's coming home with me. OK, is that true? I mean, seriously, are that you really going to wind up me. at her aunt's house tonight? Are you coming home with no, him? No, Jerry, no. She's full of <laughs> guy in the white shirt more power to you because they both knew about each other and I don't know why you're fighting if you guys knew about each other you've been at a threesome why that's your fault you brought that on yourselves I mean I think the audience would like to be sympathetic to both of you because he's you know he's kind of putting on a, a show here but the point is, you are the ones that are feeding him all this. You do participate in a threesome with him. You keep going back to him. You say you don't care if he sleeps with others. You're, you know, of course he's going to continue. You've given him no reason decision. to stop. You don't see that? Well, I'm done. I'm you're finished with one stone. Not anymore. Hey, Better go. go find another bird, bitch. All of you oh, say no that problem. you're... Everybody in the panel has actually said that they love their man or they love their woman. But don't you think, like, how can you love someone that doesn't love them? Because, I mean, if they're cheating on you with somebody else, Obviously, they're saying they don't love you, so how can you stay with them? Exactly. You know, I mean, isn't that something? Don't you think that you guys have the interpretation that love's something else and not what it is? I know you love I got a question for the three in the back. Um, the one in the purple said that he had cheated on you. This was like the fourth time. Why did you stay with him then? Because it's good to her. That's why. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I, I thought I was, it's you know, good. I thought I loved him, but I guess, you know, that's not love. It's not love. Okay. To the girl in the black velvet dress, are you supporting him in the, are you supporting that man? Huh? Are you supporting him? Am I supporting him? Oh, uh -huh. yeah. You are? Oh, yeah. So I feed him, I wash his clothes, he has a bed to sleep in. I give him all that. That's, that's true. Oh, you... I'm knowing, but you know what? I ain't going to be there. <laughs> She's going to be there, baby. She's going to be there. question for Melanie. When are you going to start worrying about your kid instead of him? I do worry about my kid. Well, okay, and I take good care of my kid. kid you don't know around. me. I take good care of my kid. I I'm have a good two mother. Kids, I know. So, I would not want that man around sit my kid. Nice and down. take this opportunity to thank you all for for being on the show and uh, I hope you're able to to move on from here um, some relationships got split up but some apparently going to keep trying to work on it so good luck to you
Good luck. You know, the truth is, in most cases, we get treated the way we permit ourselves to be treated. Look, these guys might well be mistreating these women, and there's no excuse for this kind of behavior, but why do the women put up with it? I mean, if a man is unfaithful or disrespectful, if you accept it, if after telling him he better never do that again and he does, and you stick around anyway, the message he gets is he can continue to be a dog. There are no consequences. You don't really mean what you say. You'll put up with whatever he does. So the ultimatums delivered today are fine, but our guests must know that if they ever go back on their ultimatums, they are telling the man who has mistreated them that how he treats them is okay. After all, remember, we all get treated exactly the way we allow ourselves to be treated. Till next time, yourself and each other.